HBCSA. It is brought to you by Ford. Going further so you can. Before the cars roll off the pit road, let's head down and hear from Kelly Stavis. And Rick, I'm back here in the garage as some of these cars have just gone through inspection. You can see Chase Elliott there just getting buckled into his uh, 24 car. And just trying to get a bit situated as they'll get the steering wheel on. And I'll just come to Chase really quickly. Chase, uh, an eventful Xfinity qualifying we just saw. It's a tough track. What do you anticipate with your 24 car today? Uh, hopefully just a, a solid couple laps. It was interesting. The... Uh... You know, I thought our, our race balance, our qualifying run in practice was pretty similar, so I hope that's the case here, and if it is, we'll try to keep it between the ditches. There's been so much talk, of course, about the repave. Just how tricky is this racetrack here in Kentucky? It is tricky. I think it's really similar to what it was last year. I know they redid some of it, but the tendencies and, and the characteristics are the exact same. If they hadn't have told me I'm so dumb, I wouldn't have known, so it seems like it's about the same. I don't think there's anything dumb about Chase Elliott. Thank you, Chase. Marty? Eric Jones was one of the rabbits everyone was chasing in Xfinity, Xfinity Series qualifying a moment ago. His teammate Kyle Busch and Eric quit very quick over there. What did you learn in that qualifying session, Eric, that might help you in this qualifying session? Well, I think just getting some cycles on tires really back-to-back -back in a true qualifying session, you know, unlike what we had to do in practice. So just kind of seeing how that all worked and then, uh, you know, going forward and, and seeing what the clouds did. The clouds were out, sun was out, so had a little bit of everything. So hopefully the, uh, the Sirius XM cameras got some good speed here and uh, we can get out and put down a good lap and uh, have a good spreading spot. It's pretty important here. You're kind of keeping your eye over there because your car is going back through inspection here. So what's the waiting process like as a driver? Because the cars are getting ready to fire here in a minute and you don't have a car to get in. Yeah, at this point, you know, we're close, so hopefully we can get through it, and it'll, uh, it'll be a little tight, but we can get out, so I'm um, just hoping we can make it through this time, being the clean and clear, and um, get out there, like I said, make a lap. Starting position is so important here on the repave, and um, it would be a bummer to have to start from the back, so hopefully we get out here quick. A lot of nervous drivers down here waiting for their cars to clear inspection route. We've seen a few have to make more U-turns to keep going through inspection again. That's right, we sure have, Marty. Daniel Suarez is down here, though, ready to go. What did you think about the track, or the, the tire dragging? Do you think it helps? What's your mind saying? I think the race track is very fast. And it's about to get faster. <laughs> it's very cloudy, so I think I think we're going to see the fastest lap times of the day. Qualified by far. Uh, you know, the race cars and uh, race car drivers, we like this kind of weather because we know uh, we can push the limits more. And, uh, and I think Kentucky Speedway, they, they have done an amazing job with the track. The track is very good, and I feel like slowly with the trucks, with the Xfinity car, with the cop cars, it's getting more wide as we as we run. I think the Xfinity race is going to help a lot. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what we got. Good luck, buddy. Thank you, bud. Guys, Daniel Suarez got so much respect last week after another really solid run down there at Daytona. He knows all about the Xfinity Series, the Xfinity Series champion. But this racetrack, unpredictable. A year ago, a lot of drivers had problems even in practice. What will they have in qualifying? We're about to find out.